Map Attack by Joan Horton. Pictures by Kirsten Brooker. It was Monday at school and our teacher, Miss Glass, announced, Now it's time for arithmetic class. Can somebody tell me what seven times ten? She was looking at me when she said it again. I was thinking so hard, all my circuits were loaded. Then all of a sudden, my brain just exploded, and numbers flew out of my head by the score. They stuck to the ceiling. They bounced off the floor. Kids in the classroom dived under their chairs. Some pushed through the hall and flew down the stairs. Enough, yelled Miss Glass. You're disrupting the class. She ducked as more numbers went whizzing on past. The next thing I knew, I was sent to the nurse. Before, said Miss Glass, matters get worse. The nurse checked my throat, then peered in my ear. Who oh am I? she exclaimed. Now what have we here? I'm afraid it's a case of arithmetic strain. One that no doubt has scrambled your brain. How did this happen exactly, and when? I told her it happened on seven times ten. But as soon as I said it, it started again. Numbers flew out of my head as before. Gangway, cried the nurse as she dashed through the door. But like a volcano that's blowing its top, I kept spewing numbers. They just wouldn't stop. They swept through the school, both the front and the back, and the principal shouted, We're under attack! At Precinct 11, Sergeant O'Toole was dispatching a unit to check on the school. Report of a math attack, second and main. They say there's a kid with a scrambled up brain. The cruiser arrived and it screeched to a halt. Young Officer Green and his partner, Corral, asked, How did this happen exactly, and when? I told them it happened on seven times ten. But as soon as I said it, it started again. Numbers swarmed out like bees from their hives. Yo! yelled the cops as they ran for their lives. Everywhere numbers were tumbling down on the schoolyard and houses and streets of the town. They halted the traffic. Horns started blaring. Dogs began barking and town folk stood staring. Suddenly, telephones jingled and jangled as numbers and overhead wires got tangled. A man in a phone booth who tried calling home was connected instead to a sled dog in Nome. To add to the racket, the clock in the tower was, was crazily bong-bonging every which hour, for sixes and sevens had climbed from its base to join the twelve numbers that circled its face. Meanwhile, as Millie, the grocery store clerk, was ringing an order for old Mrs. Burke, hundreds of numbers piled high in a cart leaped into the shelves, giving Millie a start. There they changed prices on jellies and jams, on pickles and peppers and yogurts and yams. Even the sticker on Mrs. Burke's bread was now reading ten trillion dollars instead. Back at the school, the Channel 8 News arrived with their TV equipment and crews. We're live at the school, the anchor man said. The camera zoomed in for a shot of my head. How did this happen, he asked me, and when? I told him, it happened on seven times ten. But as soon as I said it, it started again. Numbers flew out of my head helter-skelter. The anchor and cameraman scrambled for shelter. At that very moment, the National Guard completely surrounded the school on the yard. A whirly-bird chopper flew low overhead. I groaned, and I wished I had stayed home in bed. It's hopeless, I muttered. I'll never remember the seven times table I learned in September. That's when I heard it, a strange whirring sound, as gears in my head started spinning around. 
My brain was computing. I tried once again to remember the answer to seven times ten. Eureka! I've got it! I know it! I said, just as the answer shot out of my head. Then, like a rocket on Fourth of July, a towering seventy lit up the sky. Three cheers! Yelled the crowd. At last! Miss Glass sighed. Ten four! Said the cops. My classmates high five. I was ready the next day at school when Miss Glass announced, "Now it's time for arithmetic class." Hooray! Bring it on! I thought, eager to start. Certain I knew the times table by heart. My brain was unscrambled and working just fine. Until Miss Glass said, "What's eleven times nine?" The end. Thanks for watching, friends. I hope you liked that. I know I did.